Well, it's Thursday morning. I'm going to try something a little different. Um, we have been working for 17 weeks on everyday moments from Post to My Heart. This is our final everyday moments. And I thought I would be finished. So even though I say it's final, maybe in next week's chat I will show you the covers of my albums, which I plan to put vinyl on, and I haven't done that yet. So today I'd like to just flip through some of these albums. I have to admit, there's still a little stack of pictures over there that aren't in them. But I wanted to encourage you of all we've accomplished since we started. Now, I'm not going to say much, but it's just going to show you all the different varieties that we can do with everyday moments. Um, some of the pages we've added flip flops to, and some of the pages still need journaling. Um, but I, progress is being made, and when I look at all I've accomplished in 17 weeks, I'm not too sad. So, some beautiful, colorful pictures from our Zoom birthday party. A past memory of my precious honey and my firstborn grandson, who turned 13 yesterday, a lot bigger now. Some of the kids, memories, just everyday life. Of course, then COVID came and got separated a bit, and so we started making this album mostly from pictures, a little bit from the past, and many from Facebook and phone pictures people sent. But memories nonetheless, even if I couldn't be there. So, very nice way to... Oh, that one didn't get... Let me... This one missed the hole. Sorry about that. My job this week was to put these in albums. I added one this morning and I think I unslipped the pages. If you don't like that happening, um, you can get the bound albums. Right now my, my garden is starting to look like fall, so it's sort of fun to see what it looked like when all the colors were there. And just a lot of fun. Good memories. This is a little awkward of an album, it's so large, um, but I don't have a good overhead camera set up yet. I'm working on that. And the other fun pictures of the kids sent from the house, other grandparents, another state, sweet school memories, room for journaling. So many smiles begin with you, and that could be any of our grandchildren and families. Um, and here's a beautiful place to journal. Again, I have not finished my journaling. Taking our snail mail, making it small so we have memories of what the kids have sent me. This page and this page were the two I did last week, the two big ones. And we had a Zoom meeting this past, or a Zoom party, because it was our 47th anniversary. and. Each family took a Zoom picture. Um, the pictures here are not in yet. And this one was done earlier. Um, and I noticed that the page is actually slipped, so I need to add some more adhesive here. But I thought, since they're holding hands and walking away, I thought it was a good way to end the album. So that's my 12 by 12 album. Um, it's almost a page for every week. Last week was the first week I didn't um, finish some. This is an eight and a half by 11 album. It's not the size I usually do, but I'm finding for grandkids it works pretty well if you don't need a lot of big pictures. It's little Amelia to start it off. And these are from the beginning. When we had some eight and a half by 11 pages and I compared printing the page to cutting the page. Don't have an adventure there yet. So 
Some of these pages will look familiar because we have 12 by 12s of them. This one's waiting for another page <laughs> to go with that. My great granddaughter, my granddaughters, not my great granddaughters, but my great girls that are granddaughters, helping me with the garden. And that was, gee, that was last January, I think. So much has happened since January. More celebrations for birthday. One of my favorite pictures, favorite pages. Same exact picture as I did on the 12 by 12. Just precious moments from a daughter to a grandson. Love, love, love. One of my favorite pages, the frayed heart. Nice, easy way to add memories. And I did two hearts, just different shapes. And added flip flaps. So you have memories hiding underneath. Also, you could have journaling. Actually, I have a lot of memories hiding underneath there. <laughs> oh, wrong page. I should have combined those two. Uh, Amelia, I think um, she actually made something I've made out of strawberries, so this needs a flip flap to add it. But here's her sorting her strawberries she picked. The kids at the beach again. Beautiful, beautiful pictures, Cal Jo. <laughs> you can see how I sneak paper from the backs of them. Now this was my one from last week, my unicorn, and I did print up the pictures of the horses and the donkey, but I didn't get to put them on yet. And that's my last page so far. I forget I have a single page. This was the cutout version of the adventure. So I do have a pile over there of pictures that got printed yesterday, but they're not in. And the little mini album, eight inches by six inches. You can see, whoop, upside down. This is one reason I wanna put vinyl to orient the album. And also I have so many albums, it would be nice if I knew what was in them before picking them up. Beautiful picture of my youngest grandson, Elijah. Again, many of my smiles begin <laughs> with him. ABC pages from another family up in Michigan. And these ones, again, my pictures aren't in. This was from last week, um, Reach for the Stars. It doesn't have pictures yet. My eight and a half by six is smaller and I don't have as many pages in it, but it still encouraged me to maybe work with that size. Now what I did was I just took a regular eight and a half by 11 album. And as we went along, I made cards out of the same patterns. And I think you might remember some of these. Um, What's happened with these is many have been sent already, but this is a good way to store cards so that you can see them quickly when you need a card. Um, you can tell what you have on hand and just get it in the mail really quick. Um, I don't put the envelopes in there unless I stamp the matching envelopes. But, so we have two pretty much completed albums. One mini album started and a handful of cards, um, all done in the last 17 weeks. This is our final everyday moments. This is my summary. Next week I'll be starting a little video called Blessings because my idea is to share some of the blessings God has given, with, given me. When I look through these albums, you can't, I can't help but stop and count my blessings. Uh, many things are going on around us but the blessings are there through the trials and even tribulations, there's blessings. And so each week I'm gonna count, count my blessings with you and I'd love you to share yours with us. I will continue having at 11 a.m. the Zoom meeting and it will be linked below this video. And next week I might try a Facebook Live sent away for a little stand just for my iPhone so I could make my Thursday videos easier and there won't be a lot of prep. I might just share what I'm making um, and how I add things to current albums like dates and titles, um, but there will be blessings to share with you. So I hope you continue to join me on Thursday mornings. And don't forget, Friendship International starts September 17th. So I will be concentrating on that for a while for my crafting and I'd love you to share with me. 
during Friendship International, which starts earlier on Thursday, but it will also be a Zoom meeting, and it starts at 9.30 in the morning. So, God bless, and next week we will try my new little video thing, which I can actually turn off without having to get up and go turn the machine off. Blessings, dear.